Okay, y'all, so the thirst is definitely too real because look what I just got. Oh, hold on, wait. Look what I just got. Y'all ain't, I don't need y'all to see my address. So, this is a brand new spanking wig, y'all. And as y'all can already tell by the title, you know what it is. It's a kinky straight unit and it is a six by six. So it's a six by six. I think it's a transparent lace. I'm not sure, but I'm too ready. And it's like eight o'clock in the PM. And this hair came earlier today, but I was at work and it got shipped to my grandma's house. So I had to go get it. The thirst is real, like I said. It's from Asteria Hair. They sent me a beat up box, but that's okay because it's still a box nonetheless. So let's see what's in the box. All right. So in the box, of course, comes the wig. Um, it is a six by six, uh, 20 inch wig with the density of 180% and a medium cap size. They do include, well, they don't include, hold on. I chose to order um, the elastic band on the side and that was like an extra $4. So it comes with the elastic band, the little um, elastic strap to tie down your edges an extra wig cap in like light and then they give you the hair uh, bag as well and plus a little card and I didn't notice this until I dropped the hair but they did include some beautiful uh, 5d mink lashes um, as well which was very much appreciated because usually I don't get these in my orders and I was really excited to get those Thick. Yeah, this smell is definitely strong. I I don't care for it. It doesn't stink, but it don't smell good either. So, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys don't know how long I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for, well, I don't know. It's been like a week or two. <gasps> okay, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I thought that because they sent me this and it has this part here, that I would have to sew it on myself. But look what I just found. Literally, look what I just found. It's already in position. This is so perfect. I am too excited. I'm so happy. Let me show y'all how it's constructed. So this is the six by six space. Like this is all the closure. It gives you two combs here um, and then one in the back. And then you even have these adjustable straps. And then also you can add this elastic band. Oh my goodness, you guys, this hair is so soft, so nice. This is what the hairline looks like, and this is the lace. Oh, oh my goodness, this is the lace. Where? Look, like, tell me where you see it because you don't. It is giving me a few strands here. Let me see, that's like one, two, three, or one, two. I can't really tell. Oh yeah, that was two strands, but that's okay. So straight out the box, guys, this is what it looks like. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't bleached the knots, cut the lace, uh, plucked anything. This is just what it looks like straight out the box. I have on a black cap underneath, so this is what it looks like. You can still see the parting. All you have to do would be add concealer, and uh, I would press out the roots. That's just me, but if you wanted to just leave it how it is and wear it straight out the box, this is what it would look like on you. Um, and like I said, this is a medium-sized wig and the density of 180%. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. It's the next day. I got this wig on and like, first of all, I can't even see where the lace is. You can't clock it, you can't, you just can't. Um, I do have a few things to say. Like like I said in the, before, <laughs> um, I was going to bleach the knots and you know, pluck the lace or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I did that last night. I bleached the knots and I plucked the lace. However, um, the knots did not bleach. And it could have been 
me i don't know because i when i bleach knots usually like obviously you want a thicker consistency because you don't want the the bleach to run through and like bleach the roots or whatever but i actually i don't know i just think these knots didn't bleach however i will say even though they didn't bleach i still like it because it still looks good like my other wig the really curly one that i had on in the beginning of this video uh that was transparent lace also didn't bleach um those knots didn't bleach i bleached it twice and uh like in the very front hairline part there was still really dark visible knots which is what i really didn't like about it but for this one like the very front did bleach so that's cool with me like as long as it looks good right here that's all i care about because all this other stuff can be covered up with makeup so that's all good like i'm not even sweating it but i would have preferred if it did bleach i'm just saying but anyway so um i didn't do anything to it besides uh wash the hair and after i bleached the knots like i bleached it let it sit for about 30 minutes this hair is still shedding which is like okay i need you to stop real quick because mm, that's not what it do but it's really thick so i'm not even not even mad not even complaining it's just like randomly shedding not even like every time i run my fingers through it so we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to figure that out but anyway um this is how much hair i plucked out let me show you guys i plucked this much hair out not a lot it was kind of pre-plucked so i just already you know how they do the very front pre-plucked and then they say you know you do the rest this is the rest that i did um i really 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 love this hair um i have it secured on with the elastic band it is it feels so secure and like it's not going nowhere um i what i use for the baby hairs was just this little old guts to be um the yellow bottle and i just swooped it with my little edge brush and then i enforced it again with the uh nairobi styling foam just to give it a little bit of a softer look because i don't want them to be too harsh oh let me show y'all real quick what it looks like let me back up so like i said this is 20 inches this is where it comes on me and this is how it looks in the back the movement is there <laughs> But yeah, and this is what all the hair looks like to the front. Super full, 180% density is definitely enough. Don't go to 200 because you don't need to. I washed the hair with Trust Me Touchable Softness Shampoo and then a TGIN Honey Hair Mask. And I just let that sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. And then I let it air dry and this is what it looks like. I did go in with a hot comb and press out the roots just so that it wasn't so high up. But other than that, I did not flat iron this hair because I wanted to wear it like this, kinky straight, hey now. So yeah, like I said guys, this is Asteria hair, 20 inch, 180% um, density, transparent lace, it's shpop and everything, six by six, like it's just, it's just all of that, you know what I mean? So I'm really happy about it. I can't keep my hands out of my hair. I'm just so excited to finally have another wig after a few months. Like it's just been a long time coming. So this is a close up of the lace. I just wanted y'all to be able to see what I was talking about. Like you can see how the knots didn't bleach, but like the front still looks good. So I'm not even mad at it. But yeah, I just wanted y'all to see how freaking well this matches my skin like so impressed this hair is just bomb excuse that mess on my bed but like this hair it's just bomb so yeah if you guys like this hair don't forget to thumbs up this video and let me know down in the comment section below this is my first time trying kinky straight and i'm really impressed like i said i only get shedding sometimes when i run my fingers through it so maybe i should stop doing that i don't know um but yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you know when I post new videos. And stay tuned because this hair will be featured in many more videos to come. So if you guys want to see how it's holding up, then stay tuned for my next videos. Bye!